Hello, this is Myra Elaine on the Buying Space Channel, and today I'm reading from the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and today I am in the chapter of Luke in chapter 13, starting in verse 31. This section is titled, Jesus Grieves Over Jerusalem. At the time, some Pharisees said to him, Get away from there if you want to live. Herod and Topas wants to kill you. Jesus replied, Go tell that fox that I will keep on casting out demons and healing people today and tomorrow and the third day. I will accomplish my purpose. Yes, today, tomorrow, and the next day. What would Jesus do? He has enemies, but he's going to continue to do what he is purpose is. What a wonderful example of what we should do in life. You ever ask, somebody ask you what would Jesus do? Jesus would keep on keeping on doing what he's supposed to do. Okay, I must proceed on my way for it wouldn't do for a prophet of God to be killed except in Jerusalem. Old Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones God's messengers. How often have I wanted to gather your children together as a hen protects her chicks beneath her wings, but you wouldn't let me. And now look at your house is abandoned. And you will never see me again until you say blessings upon the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Not only does this passage give us what to do in life. You have an enemy coming for you. You keep doing what you're supposed to do. You do not let intimidation or the threat of bribery or anything else keep you from your purpose. You keep focusing on what you are doing for God. And that's exactly what Jesus did. But also here, he says that we're not going to see him again. Until Jerusalem says blessings upon the one who comes in the name of the Lord. So he's saying that at some point in time, Jerusalem will accept him as the Messiah. And that's when he will return. Just in this simple passage, you don't have to know calculus or astrology or astronomy or... Kabbalah, or read anything but the Gospels to know what is going to happen. And here he says he wants to take all the people of Jerusalem and be like the mother hen and put them under his wings. How wonderful and loving a picture. Jesus wanted to protect the people of Jerusalem. Jerusalem but he couldn't he had to keep on with his purpose and let the Romans arrest him and be tortured and crucified and died and die for our sins he knew he had no choice in that and that he so wanted to protect the people of Jerusalem and I feel the same way today I want to protect the people of Jerusalem they are surrounded by enemies that want to destroy them. But Jesus Christ himself 
said that he would return. His returning would end the wars. Just think about that. If they would accept him as the Messiah. Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord is what the people of Israel need to say. Some of them are saying it. There are many wonderful Messianic Christians in Jerusalem. God protect them. You all have a wonderful and blessed day.